Hello and welcome. Now I have here the painting that is ready for the next procedure. In the beginning the condition of this painting was not good at all. I had already a lot of paint coming off. Anyway, after I applied another glue and I could consolidate the painting. So now the painting is stable and I can advance for the next procedures which will be closing those holes here on the canvas. And basically, to close those holes, I will cut with the shape of those holes small pieces of canvas that I will apply on this one and with a special adhesive, they will be fixed to this canvas. But first, a small presentation. My name is Eduardo and I make videos about restoration of old paintings. But I also enjoy to make videos about other subjects related to fine arts, such as messages and secrets that are in paintings, or iconography, or sharing with you some kind of nice experience of an art exhibition that I may visit. So check other videos in the channel and I hope you enjoy them. So let's advance for this procedure. I do have a piece of old linen that normally I use for those situations. It has a grain and a weight very similar to this canvas, so it's ideal for this situation. So, I'm gonna cut the, I will only cut a small piece. Now I secure it with a little bit of acid-free tape. This is only to make the canvas stay in its place. Now I use this adhesive so I can apply the Japanese paper that will hold this fixing canvas that I used here in place. This adhesive is also reversible. It is very, very effective in this situation. Cut a little bit of Japanese paper and I do this way so the fibers create an irregular shape as you can see so we don't notice on when we are looking in the front so it will not be noticed because of this irregular shape. Now I, now I 
apply a little bit more of adhesive. I apply a little bit of Melinex. Now it stays in this position and I will wait to dry. I can take out now the the tape that was holding the patches apply this liquid adhesive that I did warm up it will penetrate in the canvas until reach the paint layer in the front of the painting so on the next procedure when I do apply the heat it will activate the adhesive and it will also consolidate the paint to the canvas In this process, I'm going to apply an adhesive film to the canvas that I'm going to use to make the linen.
apply the heat. Now I wait until it's cool and I can remove this plastic film. So it's already cool, so it's okay for me to remove the, the film, the plastic film. And as you can see, it comes off very easily and here there's the film, the adhesive film. And now I can apply the canvas on the working frame. And now I already have the working frame totally ready so ready to receive the old painting so I, I have to align it with the adhesive I put under a piece of wood just because I'm, I'm going to need to make some pressure. Here. Put a little bit of heat here, just to maintain the canvas on the place, for now. Now I can prepare the table for the lining. Although this painting doesn't have impasto, I always apply a layer of felt in order to protect the paint from the old painting from glue to the felt. It's important to protect with a layer of Melinex. I lay down the painting. Now I can apply the heat. I will use this tool to get a better bound between the new canvas and the old painting and also to avoid any air bubble. And the process is finished. painting is relying. Thank you. And I meet you 
on the next video.